All right, happy Friday for those of you that are not here, if you're watching this. Um, I took questions on the 6.8, questions 7, 8, 9, and 10, uh, just about setting up the trig ratio. So if you have questions on that, uh, please see me and ask. And then I went ahead and covered uh, the 6.9 set. That's what we worked on in class today. And when we look at that, the first thing it wants us to do is it wants us to sketch a triangle uh, and it tells us that A and B are the non right angle portions. So sketch a triangle, a right triangle, and label it A and B. Now I'm labeling mine A there, B there, and the right angle is C. You could have drawn a right triangle and labeled it B and A which would be backwards. So let's, let's just say we have two separate triangles right here. Well, we're still gonna go with the idea of labeling this, and we'll do this for a few more times. The longest side of every one is the hypotenuse, and we end up having the legs, okay? So both legs here and there, and I'm not gonna do that for both of them because they're both the same. Now, where do I get the lengths for my sides? I have to know lengths of sides to create the ratio. Well, if you look up in here, it tells you that the tangent of A is 3 over 4. All right, well, if the tangent of A is 3 over 4, tangent, T-O-A, is opposite over adjacent. Leg opposite over leg adjacent. So the leg opposite of A becomes 3. The leg adjacent to A becomes 4. So here is my triangle the way I set it up. If you redrew the other one, it would just be this way. They're both correct. Now. I drew mine the way I did on purpose because if you look at this, it looks like the legs should be reversed. So some of you might want to say, well, it can't be that way. I have to make, I have to make this leg over here three because it's the shorter one and this one four. No. If you did that, you'd have to switch the letters. All right? Don't worry about that. All right? Don't worry about the fact that this leg is longer. We know realistically it never would be because four is longer than three. But the point is, is what did you draw this for? Why do they have you draw it? The purpose of a drawing is to visualize what's going on. I just want a visual representation. Yes, I know that three is shorter than four, but I want to visually see where numbers are at for the purpose of helping me create these ratios. So when I look at uh, this, I have a leg of three, a leg of four, and I want to know what is the hypotenuse. How do I find that? Well, the hypotenuse is created by using Pythagoras. So three squared plus four squared, sorry about that, equals c squared. And I could go through and I could say nine plus 16 equals c squared, 25 equals c squared, or c is equal to five, or you should just know that three, four, five is a Pythagorean triple. Either way you find that. And hint, on questions 8, 9, and 10, you're going to have to use Pythag. Now that I know all three sides, now I can create my ratios. The sine of A is what is sine. So opposite over hypotenuse. If you need to refer back to 6.9, question number one in the task, to look at those ratios. I don't expect you to, buy, I don't expect you to memorize them, but look back and see what they are. The sine of A is opposite over hypotenuse. So what leg is opposite? 3 over hypotenuse, which is 5. The cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then now I need to create, excuse me, create my other three ratios. Pretty basic. What I remember is the tangent of B. The tangent of B is opposite over adjacent, 4 over 3. Or the fact that these tangent of A and tangent of B, they're inverses of each other. That's, that's what I remember. So I might not even have had to look back at the triangle. Sine of B, the sine of B. Sine is opposite 4 over hypotenuse, which is 5. Or the sine of B is the same as the cosine of A. The cosine of B is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 3 over 5, or the sine of A is the same as the cosine of B. Right? That's all we did in class today. There's help with number five. You need to do question number six, number seven, and number eight, of which you will have to work on. Uh, use Pythagorean theorem to figure out one of the sides of the triangle uh, to complete your ratios. Enjoy your weekend.